Let's start things off with Edge. Edge made his return at this year's Royal Rumble event. Edge ended up winning the entire Royal Rumble match and went on to make his WrestleMania decision. Edge appeared and wrestled on Raw and SmackDown, which was really nice to see again. Just about 10 years since he last competed on Raw and SmackDown, so it was really something special to see. Edge would eventually end up choosing Roman Reigns, but Edge never really got his one-on-one -on -one match. Similar to Becky Lynch vs. Ronda Rousey at WrestleMania, a third competitor was added to those matches, taking away the one-on-one -on -one aspect of the match. The triple threat was still amazing and was a great main event, but there were some fans out there that would still like to see Roman vs. Edge, straight up, one-on-one. -on -one. Even the triple threat match, Edge was still the fan favorite pick to win the match. Edge was leading all the winner prediction polls with nearly 60% of fan votes, so a majority of fans felt like Edge was going to be the one that dethroned Roman Reigns. Also given the fact that it was 10 years to the date that Edge retired, a lot of people sort of expected for Edge to pick up that WrestleMania main event title win. But as a shock to many fans, Roman stacked Daniel Bryan and Edge on top of each other and pinned them both. Edge has been seen since. And a lot of fans thought that it would make sense for Edge to get another opportunity at WrestleMania Backlash, considering that the title of the event still related to WrestleMania, but that wasn't the case. Edge is still on the sidelines. This has caused some fans to wonder what's going on with Edge and his status. He really wasn't truly written off. He was just pinned at WrestleMania and never appeared again. Reports claim that it's just scheduled time off for Edge. Obviously, he was on television nearly every week at the start of this year because it was WrestleMania season and he had a big part in the main event program. But where we're at now, in the middle of the year just waiting for fans to return, Edge doesn't really serve any purpose in this given moment. So this time off was always part of his schedule and always part of the plan. Thankfully, it's not injury related or anything like that. He's ready to go, but obviously when the time and story is right. There's no confirmed word on Edge's return at all. He's rumored to make an appearance on July 16th, but a lot of fans speculate that SummerSlam may actually make sense for Edge's full return. He would have had four months to rest when SummerSlam rolls around, so he'll be well rested and healthy. Not to mention the fact that this will also be the first SummerSlam to have fans since 2019. So you already know that they probably want to go all out for this card, like they did at this year's WrestleMania. So it just seems like it's the right spot for Edge's return. Maybe it's just another short-term program. Maybe he goes on a break after SummerSlam, but just having him back for that event would be a big deal. As far as Edge's brand and opponent goes, that's up in the air and could be anyone. Yeah, Edge selected Roman Reigns, but Edge was never drafted or publicly assigned to one specific brand. So that likely means that Edge could return to either Raw or SmackDown and pick an opponent from either brand. Does he link back up with Randy Orton and finish things off with him? Does he do something out of the ordinary and face off against someone like The Fiend? It was reported that Edge vs. The Fiend was one of the very early WrestleMania 37 pitches, so maybe they revisit that idea. Or did they go back to Edge vs. Roman Reigns for the WWE Universal title in the main event of SummerSlam? As you can see, there's endless possibilities for Edge's potential return matchup. So, we'll see what WWE ends up doing for Edge's possible return at SummerSlam. Maybe he returns sooner than that. Maybe he returns a little later than that. We'll just have to wait and see. So, there's been this old photo shoot of Alexa Bliss that has been around for nearly a decade now. The photo shoot features Alexa Bliss on a colorful staircase with a bunch of different candies. But Alexa revealed a story from the set of this photo shoot that no one has ever heard before. Alexa Bliss took to Instagram to tell the story. Throwback to before WWE, 21, 22 years old maybe, when I was in shape and did photo shoots, also fell down those stairs immediately after shot was taken. So quite the scary experience there for Alexa Bliss at the time, but she was able to look back at that story and laugh about it now. As far as everything goes with Alexa Bliss and Lily, we're still patiently waiting to actually see what direction they're heading in. Of course, when Lily was first introduced, everyone sort of figured that this would lead to Alexa's full-time return to the ring without counting Fastlane. 
Alexa Bliss has basically only had two or three matches all year long, and right around a total of five or six matches dating back to last fall. So seeing Alexa wrestle has become very rare. It's been well over a month now with Lily, and there's been some small story progression, but as far as Alexa getting back into the ring, that still hasn't happened. It would appear that Alexa is targeting the women's tag team division at this given moment. But of course, the scary thing there is if she's going to have an actual partner or if she's going to win the titles with a doll as her partner. That's the big iffy situation right there. If she was to win the titles with her doll Lily, how is she really supposed to defend the titles? And you can't really have her lose either, so how would she drop the titles? Are they going to pin a doll? It's a very weird situation, so hopefully if they do go that route, it includes Lily being portrayed by another woman. If that's the case, then that could work. That would really bring interest back into the women's tag team division that still feels like an endless loop of rematches right now. So, we'll see what ends up happening there. Sasha Banks joining Roman Reigns' faction. This is a fan theory that's gaining some momentum. All this started when fans looked back to 2016, when Roman Reigns and Sasha Banks teamed up for the first time and last time. Sasha and Roman teamed up to take on Rusev and Charlotte, and they ended up picking up the win. Not only that, but the clip of that tag team match also surpassed 15 million views, letting you know that fans were really interested in seeing these two juggernauts team with each other. Roman Reigns and Sasha Banks are neck and neck for that title of being WWE's biggest star right now. Sasha and Roman are no doubt the two biggest overall franchise superstars that WWE has to offer. You can just take them, build around them, and you're going to have a successful show. That's why SmackDown has been so great in recent months. You had Roman and Sasha on the same show. That's pretty overpowered. The fans have been discussing how Sasha's demeanor and overall vibe would blend in perfectly with Roman Reigns. Of course, Roman's faction is sort of family only at the moment, but fans think that Sasha Banks would be the perfect addition to the group to just put them over the top. Roman with the universal title, Jimmy and Jay with the tag titles, and Sasha reigning the women's title. That would be quite the sight to see. Of course, like we mentioned before, Roman already has that firsthand experience of watching Sasha in the ring and teaming up with her. So, if he wants to extend his dominance even into the women's division, he should be well aware about what Sasha Banks represents. So, that would be extremely interesting to see as well. But what are your thoughts on today's stories? Would you like to see Roman and Sasha link up again? Leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe with all notifications on and leave a like if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, guys.